Hello, I'm Gaurav and I'm the Senior Data Scientist for WFP BAM. And today I'm going to explain why data management is so important and how we go about doing it. Proper data management is central to doing remote surveys. Unless your survey is a rare one-off instance, the amount of data you must manage will grow at a mind-boggling rate. With each additional round, you must consider that not only will their data grow by thousands of observations for every survey, but also the comparisons and summary statistics you may want to perform will grow exponentially. After just 10 rounds, you can easily run into a situation where there are more combinations of data than, let's say, grains of sand in all the oceans in the world. So once we have our survey data, there are potentially thousands of ways we'd like to splice and view our data even if you're exceptionally quick with Excel. At a minute per calculation, it would take you about 17 hours of work with no break to do what our data management systems do in minutes. So what is this system? In short, it is a combination of databases, web tools, and custom written programs that allows you to clean and process your data, easily find and understand the data you need, avoid unnecessary duplication, validate your results if required, ensure your work is visible and has impact, and finally, comply with funder mandates for open data. And now, how does it work? Well, it all begins with the raw data. Usually, it is received as a spreadsheet or some kind of flat file. However, the first step is manual. You, the data analyst, must make sure that your raw data set matches VAM's data management schema. This means that for certain fields, like food security indicators, administrative districts, and certain demographic variables, you must make sure that the microdata and field names are encoded in compliance with VAM guidelines. Exceptions are only permissible for surveys with uncommon or highly unique questions in the questionnaire. Once you have matched the data with our schema, the data is ready to be uploaded into our VAM database. This means that the data is centralized in one single server. And now we do this for several reasons. First, in this way, the data is consistent and clear. This allows anyone to combine and analyze across data sets through a single point of entry, because the structure is the same. Second, it also reduces the chance of human error, say by uploading the data twice. And in the advent of human error, the data is backed up twice a day, so it can be undone. Third, we eliminate data loss, a significant problem at WFP. And fourth, and most importantly, this allows us to automate data processing and use third-party tools like Tableau for analysis and visualization. We'll get to this more later. Now, returning to uploading the raw data, once you have matched the raw data for a survey to the standard schema, you can easily turn this entire process into an automated script that you can run upon uploading the data. So you never have to do this matching process again. And now that the data is centralized, we have a few options. The reporting engine is responsible for data cleaning. At the moment, it looks to see if we have any outliers in the price data mode. For example, a really high or low price. This reporting engine automatically detects it. It can also check duplications of data. So the analysis will not be affected by double entries. Then we have the stats engine. This is a program that calculates numerous summary statistics and statistical tests along various slices of data that you may be interested in. It greatly reduces the time necessary for analysis and reporting. Finally, our APIs allow us to share data openly far and wide with WFP and actors outside. Our APIs automate the exchange of data with no human intervention. Currently, numerous organizations, such as the World Bank, other UN organizations, NGOs, and universities use our APIs to download our data. And last but not least, we have different ways of displaying the data. The VAM data bank provides summary statistics of key WFP food security indicators across geographies in a simple-to-use online spreadsheet. And we are also now using online data visualizations with Tableau and D3 objects. These allow analysts and readers to interactively view the data. We think it's an order of magnitude improvement on static narrative reports. 
And so this is how we do data management. And we're now going to get into the details in the rest of the lesson. Thank you for watching.